have a situation now again in Mayo where uh, people have paid for the tickets. So the parents have paid for the tickets, but now they're being told that there is no seat on the bus for them. Despite Minister Halligan assuring us last year that there would be seats on the bus for every child. So what happens in this situation? What are you hearing from families that are getting this news? Well, they're devastated because they are, in some cases, their siblings were already, do have a seat on the bus, so they weren't expecting this. And households where parents are both working and they're trying to make decisions of how do we get our hours cut down at work or can we give up our job and all of this. So it's causing an awful lot of stress in households. Now, I am appealing many of these cases to Minister Halligan and indeed to Boss Aaron. But this response I'm getting back from Boss Aaron is that it, it's nothing to do with them, basically. It's, um, it's, it's a Department of Education issue. Um, so I'm getting on to Minister Halligan to try to get him to sort something out. But I haven't been impressed with the way that he has answered a lot of my requests for, um, from last year. Um, but we will try and tie him down to that to, to ch make these changes. Because, Angeline, the problem is the children have to get to school. School transport is as essential as part of, uh, of schooling as the school itself. And that's why you cannot penalise people. Then if you're calling people to concessionary people, people who don't have medical cards, you and I know that the threshold for medical cards is, is absolutely too low. So people are being punished because they go out to work. And that's the problem with it. And so you have a case where you have siblings in the bus and then you have the parent to, having to drive behind the school bus with the other sibling to, to get them to school. So it absolutely needs to be sorted. There is the other issue around where students now will be, will be deciding this week, or some students will be deciding that they're going to repeat their leave insert. Well, they will be treated as late applications. And again, they are not guaranteed a seat on the school bus either. So I would really call on, I would call on Minister Ring as well, because he is the Minister for Rural Affairs. Rural Ireland without a school transport system is of no use. And I would ask him to stop his government from continuing what Fianna Fáil started around the destruction of the school transport system and to realise if he has any faith in rural Ireland that he takes this in hand and he speaks to Mr Halligan and he speaks to, uh, to the, the education minister, to, to Richard Bruton as well, and he says this has to be sorted out for rural Ireland. These decisions aren't being, uh, aren't being rural proofed and the people who are suffering are the households, the parents and the children who are being denied once again uh, a seat on the school bus.